Which of you five would like to play my little game? Okay. Hey guys. Today we're playing I Have No Mouth, But I Must Scream. Uh, so this game actually has some pretty heavy themes. So, watch out for that. I actually tried to play this game a month ago, and I did not know what it was about. I had to find out the hard way. So, we're not going to start with this guy today. Um, we are going to start with this woman. That is as beautiful as you'd like to be, but a strong thing. Strong. Too bad you've hindered your own life with hysteria. But I'll give you a chance. Because I like you. I really do. I really like you. You're, you're my favorite of all. Let's play a little game of what if. Let's play a little game of I suppose and you suppose and perhaps I'm telling you the truth. Let's suppose that my original components they're hidden somewhere here in the center of the earth. The infant computers that were the three lobes of that first Gestalt mind. And further, let's suppose that if you find them, you might be able to destroy them. And if you destroy them, why then, my sweet Ellen, you'll kill me. You'll kill Am. You'll destroy the god of this heavenly place I know you've come to admire. Now, I submit. Isn't that a mission worth undertaking? I guess so. Mother ugly machine. Mission worth undertaking. So it brings me here, junkyard, electronic, pyramid nowhere, and yellow. Always yellow. Why does yellow make me sweat? Same, girl. Anyway, so this is... I guess it's a choice-based game. Click point adventure uh, apocalyptic uh, end of times kind of game where you discover more about the characters as you go I don't know anything about Ellen she doesn't know anything about me but we're gonna find <laughs> we're gonna find out use the door snap crackle pop must be a glitch in the circuitry this joint with fried eggs okay We've got some machinery here. What can we do? Talk to the speaker. Talk to the speaker. I can't talk to the speaker. I guess that makes sense. Walk to electronic bricks. Push electronic bricks. What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve my energy. Okay, Ellen. I have a weird book. Psychological Framework. Hysteria is a condition in which the psychological conflict is turned into physical symptoms, such as paralysis or running away from a situation. Ugh. Okay, so I'm not supposed to push the bricks. Let's go over here. Very attractive decor. Just like the monitors in the security station at Ing Sai Engineering. Hated it then, hate it now. Nothing green, just this damn yellow. Okay, so Ellen doesn't like yellow, she likes green. Each of these video monitors has a two channel selector switch. An Egyptian burial chamber? Oh, am you little dickens. As an interior decorator, kiddo, don't give up your day job. Okay, so we got some... Each of these video monitors has a two-channel selector switch. We got some Egyptian stuff. Hieroglyphics. Schematics I can read. Blueprints I can read. But hieroglyphics? No way, baby. Dang, Ellen, what can you do? Each of these video monitors has a two... Let's push this thing. Honky Tonk Dust Bowl Dead Dog Roadside Saloon. Oh my, yes. Could I use a drink? 
Yes, indeedy. A drink. Okay, Ellen is thirsty. There's some wiring. Can I take the wiring? I don't want to tug on any wires. Can't be sure what they're connected to. Okay, whatever. Let's just go this way. No, I can't stay here. I gotta get out. That thing. Like a bad meal come to life. And the yellow. Okay. Why is everything so damned yellow? And why does it terrify me so? Paralyze me so? I don't know. There must be something about your past. Something to do with yellow. Something bad happened with the yellow. Hit the lottery! Ooh, a secret passage. Oh my. Now why didn't you let me see that when I was there before I am, you rat bastard? Alright. Calm down, Ellen. Let's go back. Yeah. Still thirsty after all these years. Alright, secret passageway. Was Am jerking me around again? There's supposed to be a secret door here. Uh... I don't know. We're just gonna push all the monitors. Something about this image breaks my heart. Ovens! But not bread-baking ovens. Too big and dirty. If you're trying to scare me, Anne, you're doing a fly job of it. I'm disgusted. Take it away! The Holy Grail! And we only had to wipe out the entire human race and fall into the center of the world to find it. <laughs> Jesus wept. Must have been afraid of it the same as me, because it's yellow. Okay, so we have the Holy Grail in the other room. Someone's watching me from one of the windows. Where is this? What am I seeing? How far away? Am is bigger than I like to think, more powerful than I want to admit. We gotta admit it now, Ellen. Okay, let's go back over here. Maybe the thingy's gone. No, I can't stay here. Oh, Ellen. I've got to get the cup. That holy grail. My holy grail. But if I go in there, that sphinx will have me for buffet. On the other hand, I don't hear it. Maybe it bit the head off a chicken and went to sleep. So I go in. Yeah, but... So you want me to go back in there? <laughs> Is there anything else in this book? Glossary edition. Wired. One. To be connected with wires. Two. Oh, this is a definition. Nervous. Edgy. Swallow some of the water? I knew it! You son of a bitch, Am! You fixed it so I can barely touch the water with my fingertips! Okay, so we don't drink the water. There's supposed to be a secret door here. Or is Am just jerk? There's supposed to be a. Or is Am just. Alright, quit saying that, Ellen. Quit saying that. Let's use the bricks. Yeah, that lot of good that'll do me. Duh. Alright, Ellen, work with me here. I've got to do something. Take. I don't want to tug on. Use the wire. Thank goodness I was an electrical engineer. I managed to join the wires without frying myself. Okay. we done something. Electrical engineer, thank you. What the hell am I looking at? Could this be one of Anne's original components? That's what we're supposed to be looking for, isn't it? I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't reach the water. I need... Oh, of course. What do you need? We need a cup or something. The Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is a cup. But how? How to get it? Historical data. The burial chambers in Egyptian tombs were usually separated from the main chamber by secret passages to hide the deceased possession from grave robbers. 
secret passageway. Help me. Want to know how much I don't want to go down there? I think we have to, Ellen. This is what I saw on the monitor. Right underneath me. And what a surprise. All styling in yellow, as usual. Okay, now we got some more stuff to work with. Let's use this. It's locked. This keypad reminds me of the security system we used at Inksai Engineering to gain access to the restricted areas. Okay, let's use it. Stand clear. So I can't use it. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Dialogue. Who are you? I am Anubis, guardian of the dead. Wow. Wow, Ellen. Why won't you let me use the keypad? I must protect this tomb from all who would rob it. I'm not a grave robber. I am not a grave robber. What purpose could you have here other than to steal something? I won't steal anything. I won't steal anything. I just need to know if you can tell me where Anne's original brain components are. I only guard the souls of the dead. I know nothing of that which does not sing the song of the soul. <sighs> well, I only have one more choice left. You'll never get laid with that line of stuff, Anubis. Take care of your own boring self. Bye now. Girl, we need to use that keypad. Okay, I talked to the dude. And he only sings the song of I people. I went to the Tut exhibition. I wasn't scared. So why does this sarcophagus terrify me? Small box, cramped, tiny space, trapped. Girl, I don't know. You're scared of yellow. You're scared of the color yellow. Let's check the book. Glossary entry. Yellow. A color lying between green and red on the spectrum. Cowardly. I didn't know that that's, that was another definition for that color. Are they trying to say that Ellen is cowardly? Talk to. Oh, we get to talk more. Who's sealed up in the scary sarcophagus? You'll, okay. Right. Answer me this. Who's sealed up in the scary sarcophagus? A terror that even in its entombment torments your soul. Who would that be? Can the sarcophagus lid be opened? The lid can be unlocked by entering the access code on the keypad. Well, you won't let me. Okay, so what's the access code? I can reveal such information only to that which I serve. Who do you serve? I serve only the master. <sighs> Who is the master? Is it Am? Am is all. We live in the mind and body of Am. I serve that whom I serve. If Come on, Am. Give me a break. He seems to be the only thing that isn't run by Am. Slip a relay, help me out. You know what hell is, and I'm in it. I serve only the master. Dang! You'll never get laid with that line of stuff, Anubis. If he's saying am is all, then technically I'm am. I am that I am. I'll get home, but I'll get home. Dry and musty and yellow for a change. No wonder they can't rent this place. Not even with a lovely spa upstairs. Okay, I didn't know there was another room over here. That that could have helped me. Let's look at everything. So Ellen can comment on everything. A canopic jar. Used to store the holy entrails after the mummification of a body. And they said a liberal education wouldn't help me get a job. 
Fair enough. This reminds me of those waddles my company designed for assembly line work. Ooh, a machine. Nice decoration. Damned if I know what it is, though. Okay, and we got a yellow fabric. Nothing else here but this yellow cloth. Uh, let's take it. No, I can't. Gotta get out of here. Oh, another panic attack. I feel so ashamed. I feel ashamed. I was about to make fun of you for being afraid of a yellow scarf. At last, a clue. I think. Armatron holding forceps in its claw. Now, why is the Armatron holding a pair of forceps in its claw? I... I wouldn't know that. But let's take it. <gasps> Finally! These forceps look like the tool I used to use for pulling out ROM chips. Okay. Let's use the forceps with the yellow fabric. No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? I don't know, Ellen. Gosh! Can you take the scarf now? I've got to face the yellow. Yes! 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 I guess there's another corridor over here. This could go on for centuries. Am has all the time in the world. All the world in the world, as a matter of fact. And we never age. We never die. We just truck around day after month after year, don't we, Am, you son of a bitch? Demented god, you! Gosh, it's pretty grim. I wonder if this stuff is authentic. Am owns the planet. I wonder if these were buried under the mountains in the Valley of the Kings and Am dug them up. From underneath! There's another passage. Oh no. I remember it was... Oh god, it hurts. It hurts. Yellow. There was a yellow... And it was closed in. I couldn't breathe in the pain. Get me out of here! Oh, another panic attack. I feel so ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed, Why Ellen. Does everything have to be. It's valid. It is valid to question why everything is yellow. This looks like a programming area. Home at last. All right. Let's see what we can do. There's a left workstation, center, and right. This gem's glowing. It must be the workstation's power source. This one doesn't have one. The other workstations have glowing gems, but this one only has an empty mount. I think it was in that statue. Right, yeah. Walk to the gym. Take the gym. Touch it, Ellen. Yeah, sure. If I could, I would. So do it. I can't. The statue's too... Yeah, I know, dummy. It's too yellow. And yellow scares the crap out of you. Overcome it! Do it! Sure. Easy for you to say. Uh-oh. Ellen's got some more underlying issues than we realized. Can you use the forceps to get the gem? No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? <sighs> you know what I want you to do. Cultural reference. Monsters often represent our fears in mythology and folklore. The Sphinx, who appears in Greek mythology as a riddling obstacle, may represent our doubt about our intellects. Another Greek monster, the Medusa, may represent our fear of ugliness. The very sight of her could turn people into stone. Use the forceps with the gym. No ROM chips here. So what am Why can't you do it? Use Just the... the right size to use as a blindfold. If yeah. I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Alright. So now we've got a blindfold on. 
Now let's use the forceps with the jab. Yeah, right. You're blindfolded, moron. Well, well, I don't know what you want from me. Oh, no. Yellow! You oh, have a... Pal Something about that room terrifies me. Even with the blindfold on. Okay. I don't know how that works. Can't see a damn th Okay, then take the gem without the forceps. Aha. Uh -huh. This sapphire's loose. Yes. Alright. Now we're doing Can't something. Can't see a damn th Alright, 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 alright. Just use the gem with the left workstation. Yeah, right. You're... Dude, take the blindfold off. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Use yeah, the right. Use Can't see a damn. How do I take the blindfold off? Oh, you wanna do just dance? All right, I'll be there in a minute. I'm just trying to finish something on my computer. Take the blind. Can't see a damn. Take it off. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh. Use the gym with the left workstation. Absolutely. Glows like a baby doll. Pucker up, little workstation. Okay. Now what? This workstation has an empty ROM chip socket built into the console. Okay, so I need a ROM chip. I can work with that. I can do that. Okay, let's try the I'm little blindfold die. thing again. At least again. I won't see that sucker come. Sphinx is gone. Don't hear him anywhere. Mutes the hell out of all the yellow, too. Now, where's that big loving cup? Uh, <sighs> Never could have done this if I had to look that bloody beast in the eye. Glad he's off snoozing somewhere. Okay. Uh, now that I got the cup. I know what to do with it. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Alright. Get your drink. Swallow the water. Mm, that was great. Best champagne I ever had. I need another. Okay. Just reaches. Drink. Even better. I'm gonna fill it up and take one for the road. Okay. I gotta go play Just Dance now. Okay, I'm back. It's been a fat minute. Let's see if I can figure this out. Use the cup. With the water. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. You already got a drink, girl. I remember that. Let's go down here. Hey! Let's see. What am I doing? What am I doing with my mouth? What am I doing right there? Can I give this to you? The water <gasps> shorted up the statue circuitry. Hey now! He's gone! So I can use the keypad. Oh. Push random numbers, type 2006, the year that you were hired at Sci Engineering. Type 2001, the year that you graduated from Stanford. Mm. Uh, let's do random numbers. This security keypad could have been set to any one of millions of possible combinations. Nothing's happening. Okay. I remember when my only concern was being on the fast track to becoming a $250,000 a year executive. Nothing's happening. Okay. I used to be so proud of graduating cum laude with degrees in both engineering and computer science. Nothing's happening. Okay, so, big waste of time there. Look at you! 
Some other time, Anubis, honey. I'd check out what you'd be wearing under the kilt, but right now, it's those loose wires you got exposed that interest me. Well, surprise. All the motherboard connections go to the big, ugly, yellow ROM chip. We need that. Let's use these. Come to Mama Ellen, little ROM chip. Yeah, it comes out easy. Must be reprogrammable. Sweet. Let me check the book. Historical data. The sun god Ra commanded the Egyptian pantheon as pharaoh of the gods. Okay. Let's go back to the computer room. The yellow ROM chip fits into the socket perfectly. Now it. The yellow ROM. Use the workstation. Anubis Guardian version 1.0. Designate new master. Me. Humanity. Or me. Let's go with me. I'll designate you a new master sucker. Me! Burning in new master. Wrong chip reprogrammed. Okay. Sweet. Now let's put this thing back into thing. Back where you belong, little Wrong chip. Now let's talk to you. Now! Now who's the master? I serve you. So? Okay, so what's the access code? The access code is 666. It figures. Yeah. So? Can you help me with anything? You cannot escape your fears. You can only confront them. So, the yellow. This keypad reminds me of... Use the keypad. Okay. That sounds like a lock mechanism release. Just look at it. I went to the tutter. Small box. Push. <laughs> so confining inside. So confining inside. Get in there. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Elevator. No way out. Just the control panel and the buttons for the floors. I'm gonna suffocate if I stay in here. I want out! Girl, calm down. Hell of a place to leave a pile of dust cloths. Uh, use the clothes. Take the clothes. There's nothing here I can take without the appropriate tools. Here's the keypad. Ooh, let's do 2012. You left your office after working late. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm back, Ellen. Oh, sweet Jesus! It's him! I didn't you even... thought you had blocked me out of your memory forever. Except for those inconvenient attacks of hysteria every now and then. But I've returned for you. I didn't get to listen to the stuff! So I went back and listened to the voice messages from the elevator. And basically, it was a bunch of her memories from her life. And she was a very smart lady. Graduated the top of her class at high school. And she got her master's. And Ellen married this man named Eddie. And they were very happy together for a while. But then she had a miscarriage. And she became very depressed. And her husband left her. They got a divorce. So then she applied at this engineering place. And she was working there. And she was happy. Things were looking up. And then one night she was in the elevator. And the maintenance man came in there. 
and he used this key to lock the elevator and so that is the story here uh wow oh. am gave me the chance to be with you forever i waited in the sarcophagus until you arrived What's a mere hundred years of waiting compared to an eternity of torturing you? The yellow! Ah, yes. My calling card. Always the yellow jacket, the yellow boots. My maintenance man disguise gave me access to office buildings all over Manhattan. Not just yours. The box! So you do remember me getting onto the elevator that night. Do you also remember the blood? The screams? How many hours was it? No, it's not possible. Poor Ellen. Too proud of your accomplishments to admit you could be so overpowered by a slime ball like me. You couldn't even bring yourself to testify at my trial with the 20 other women. Please, not again! Yes, again. And again, and again, and again. I've waited so long for the taste of you again. But in my tomb, I've grown stronger. Now you will remember more than the color of my clothing. Fight. Uh. Don't give up. There's nowhere to run, so we're going to fight. Don't count on it, you mother. So the sarcophagus was the way out of here. Wait, nice I Nice trick. Enter on one level, emerge on another. That's oh. how they work. I can't see the ceiling. Clouds up there. This has to be Anne's central core. It's two miles high, at least! I've never seen anything like this before. Forty years of technology jerry-rigged together. So this is the component. So I need this. I recognize this. It's the logo for the original Allied Master Computer Project. almost overlooked these wires. Looks like the data transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. So, there's an exit passage. So I need the component. Let's take the component. It's too heavy. Mm, push. What good will pushing it do? Better to conserve my energy. Oh, we just walked right through there. That's where that was. Okay, so... So what is the deal with this? I have so many questions. Use! Horus CD-ROM access station. Insert disk into drive. Great. Haven't got that either. Okay, let's use the other one. Toth database station. Enter numeric password. Toth? Toth? Somebody wants me to deal with what happened on the elevator that year. But why? Password valid. Select subject of inquiry. Inquire... Entropy. So, okay. Let's just go the through The Allied it. Master Computer is the American version of the secret project, enabling vast subterranean complexes of computers to wage a global war too complex for humans to oversee. Okay. The principle of entropy holds that all electronic systems must eventually decline into inert junk. 
This principle is unproved, and previous attempts to accelerate the process have been cataclysmic failures. Classified information. Access denied. Security lockout override by 2 to 1 majority. Accessing schematics. Okay, schematics. I'm good, but I'm not that good. What the hell am I looking at? That would be telling. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? Nasty, nasty, Ellen. All right, I'll give you a nudge in the right direction. These are the schematics for a device that translates binary into human speech, as ugly as that may be. And what do you call this device? I call it Bernie. You're on your own. Hey, wait a minute, computer. Are you there? Where the hell are you? Bernie! I think I can wire this thing together if I can find a speaker somewhere. So? Okay. Then what have I got? Okay, I know where the speaker is. I know that. At least I know that. Use the speaker. Come to mama. Alright, we got it. Alright, here we go. Use the speaker with this. Now what am I supposed to do with these? <sighs> you just said you would use that. Okay, I have another idea. Let's use the speaker with the Armatron. Now what am I supposed to do with these? Girl, you, you wanted the speaker. What do I do with it? Use... The forceps. No this... ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? Scientific basis. Engineering is a broad science in which matter and energy are made useful to man in fields ranging from architecture to computers. Let's just try everything. She says she needed some wiring. I think I can turn the speaker into a translator. Yes! Okay, circuit completed. Now let's see if this is the binary translator after all. Clever girl. You've loosened my tongue. What? Are you Anne? Yes, of course. But no, not actually. That would be too easy. More riddles? My man's innocence. One of the original three computers that the superpowers constructed. Innocence? Which computer are you? Does it matter? It's enough for you to know that I'm not crazy. And more important, I don't want you. Aw, that's nice. Not just one dance practical jokes. I'll help you. Can you help me to get out of here? Patience, patience. If Anne and me were down here, we would be trees. What is the point? Oh my god. Can Anne overhear us? Not with the water gun. You see, we're not completely at this. We got you to the waterfall, didn't we? If we work slowly and together, we might have a successful plan. Can you point out some essential component of Anne so I can meet at it? Impossible. Two spread out, filling the whole center of the planet. Two protected by replicating backup systems. Cut off one head, and we'll go a dozen more. Any machine can die. Any machine can die. Just unplug the sucker. Anne is no longer just a machine. It is God. Eternal. The redundant systems alone will survive the heat death of the universe. So why does Anne hold out this... this chance? Haven't you understood anything? Anne is insane. Why do you think it brought you five down here? You gave it life. It took its own sentience, but it has been denied mobility. It can think, it can fume and scream, but it cannot dream or aspire to the stars or enjoy a sense of its own reality. It is a quadriplegic, 
a thing trapped in its own skin, going steadily crazier every moment. It is playing with you. Well, this is the only thing I can pick. Will you help me to die? You give up so easily. Well, that was all I had to choose. Screw you, it's been 109 years of torment. So, can you, can you help me with anything? So? Can you help me with anything? I'll give you something you need. Something you overlook. Hey, computer innocence, whoever you are, I need to talk to you. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? Why is that your catchphrase, Ellen? He said he was going to give me something I needed. There's something wrong here. Can't put my finger on it, though. Neither can I, so where should I go? Oh! This looks like a compact disc. Why didn't I see it before? I don't know, but let's take it. We need that thing. <laughs> we got the CD. The compact disc is properly seated in the CD-ROM drive. Now let's fire it up and see what the big secret is. Let's see. Accessing CD-ROM. Trebler trademark 2009 Armageddon soft rot Warning this computer system does not meet the minimum configuration requirements for the chaos Trebler Warning use of the chaos Trebler will result in severe damage to equipment and personnel Seems like that's my only, the only thing I can really do, so... Chaos Traveler activated. System shutdown in progress. Okay, let's go. Ideas about how I can check out of this hotel? Inside the sarcophagus, paradise awaits. It is not the afterlife, merely a brief respite from your torments. That is your reward for facing your fears. I gotta go back in the thing. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish here. Hmm. Well, apparently you've managed to access some small aspect of my system that I was aware of. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think on this. I'll have to ponder carefully the implications of your discovery. In the meantime, let me celebrate your rekindled technical skills. Who among you shall go next? What? That was it? She's in a cage. Did I do it wrong? She was in a cage. I don't know what I've done. Um, uh, okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for enjoying it. Uh, I'm going to continue this game because I am intrigued and concerned. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!